Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This video is meant to be an accompaniment to our April 2020 newsletter. If you don't get the newsletter, you can go to our website right now, burkebrothersound.com, and download the newsletter. And while you're there, please enter your name and email and hit subscribe so we can add you to our mailing list for any future newsletters. Hi everyone, today we are reviewing cleaning microphones. So I don't really see people or, or hear people talking about this in the field, um, whether it's a production company or a venue with a mic closet. I wish more people were taking better care of their microphones, uh, especially in terms of hygiene. We have a couple methods we like to use for cleaning. One of them is isopropyl alcohol. And you can buy the isopropyl alcohol in bulk. Uh, as you can see, I have, um, I have a bulk container here. Uh, the downside is you need, to, you need to carry a cloth or something that you can use to wipe the alcohol on the mic. What I really like are the alcohol prep pads. They won't spill and I can carry several of them with me. So the prep pads are something um, that make this really easy and they're super convenient. So uh, the first thing you do uh, when you're ready to clean your microphone is uh, you wanna take the prep pad, um, open it up, and wipe the grill and the body of the microphone. and just sit it down and let it let it air dry when you're finished. Okay, the other method we use takes a little bit more time to complete. First, you unscrew the grill. Make sure you remove any foam windscreen. Uh, this is a Shure SM58, so it has a foam windscreen inside the grill. Set that aside for now. Uh, you'll want to take a toothbrush, and what I have prepared here is a mix of dishwashing soap and warm water. So uh, take the brush, and you'll want to you'll want to get the brush wet, and then uh, once it's wet, just gently work the surface of the grill with the brush, um, making sure you you go over the surface several times. Take the foam windscreen, and you'll want to be gentle with this so you don't damage the foam, but uh, get it, uh, dip it in the liquid so it's wet, and then just work it with your fingers so you're trying to work that soap onto all parts of the foam windscreen. And eventually, you know, the foam windscreen's probably going to deteriorate, and uh, you'll have to replace the grill at that point, but it's, um, in my opinion, it's, it's worth doing for the sake of hygiene. So once you've worked the soap into the entire, um, entire foam windscreen, take the grill and you'll want to rinse them off. Okay, so rinsed and dried with a towel. Now what I like to do is just set these out and let them air dry. If you have time, leave them out overnight on the workbench. Okay, so once your microphone has dried, take your foam windscreen, and you're going to put it back inside. And screw this back on. And then what I like to do for good measure, even after I've scrubbed it down, take another one of those alcohol prep pads or rubbing alcohol on a towel or cloth. And I take this and just wipe the microphone down. Here we go. Let that air dry and you're all set. So if you have any questions about specific types of microphones and how to clean them, it's always a good idea to check with the manufacturer. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email, support at burkebrothersound.com. Thanks for watching.